Welcome to another episode of Culture Shock. My name is Sean Galloway, the president of ProAct Safety. For this episode, I'd like to talk about the impact of communication on safety. Consider with communication has two elements, a sender and a receiver. Both have to be tuned in and turned on to the message in order for communication to happen. But think about how communication usually goes out. We send out an email. Now, is communication just sending out an email? No, that's propagating information. Communication is something the receiver does, according to Peter Drucker. Now, think about about it that when we send information out there what we're looking for is knowledge transfer to occur if we're having safety meetings are we putting the information in front of the people or are we making sure the information sticks with them something that they can walk away with just putting information in front of somebody and asking them to sign it is something that I call receipt of communication it's not actual communication so think about it when you're putting information out in front of people what do you want them to walk away with and you need to make sure that the expectations are clear that they know what the information is all about. Psychologists have a saying that all disappointment is based on a set level of expectations. So are we setting and managing the right expectations in communication or are we just putting information in front of people? The human brain and the working memory can only recall seven bits of information at any given time. So what elements do you want to make sure stick in their mind because communication by nature is hyper competitive. When we're communicating things in safety, Guess what? Other people are communicating things as well. It's hyper competitive by, by nature. There's HR information that goes out to them. There's operating information, quality information. So if you're going to be an effective communicator, make sure the information is received and helps them be better in safety. Thank you for all that you do. If you have any comments you'd like to share, there are several options. You can post a comment on Canadian Occupational Safety's website. You can email me at info at proactsafety.com or visit my Safety Culture podcast and blog at www.safetycultureexcellence.com and share your ideas there. See you next time.